to the house of God uh -huh. now for your own soul's sake. See, that's why the Bible is redundant. The Lord says things over and over because we're stiff-necked, hard-headed people. Read that. We come together our people. Read that. We come together the Lord's truth in the house of Israel. Calm down and listen to one another. And more importantly, listen to this bite. Right? Okay, watch this. this last day, the most high is raising up the two puppets of God. All great. All great. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Now give me the color of Christ. I want to say I want to bring some things out because a lot of people think that Christ's color don't matter. Everything in the Bible matters. Go ahead. The Book of Revelations, chapter one and verse one. Go ahead. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Which God gave unto Him uh -huh. to show, to, what? to show uh -huh. unto His servants, to? To, unto His servants. And only the servants are the Israelites. So he's showing us the color of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Things which must shortly come to pass. Because when he cracked that sky and the whole world sees that a black man is going to take over this planet. That's right. It's not going to be happy. They're not going to be happy about it. Right. They're going to be right. shocked. Go ahead. Verse 10. Verse 14. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Look at that, sis. Who has white wool here? That picture or this stringy hair picture right here that looks like a dag on uh, Charles Manson? White wool here? We have wool here. Go ahead. As white as snow. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Why? Because the first miracle of what he did, he put water into what? Wine. He wasn't a drunk, but he liked to drink wine. He was stressed. Our, we're trying to wake our people up. It's stressful. You see it? Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. So the, what's the color of brass, sis? It's a brownish, right? Go ahead. Let's see what color, what color brown it was. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you burn that brass in a furnace, what color is it going to be? Burnt brass. Dark, dark brass. That's the color of Christ. That's that's when we went we went over into Jamaica, or not Jamaica, we went to the Caribbean Islands. They never even knew that Christ was black. When they found out, they were ha they couldn't believe that Christ was a black man and they were so happy about it. But we're so destroyed here, we said, we know so what? No, no, no. 
But we got to, we we blessed with the privilege of the most high working the bulk of our people up over here. Go ahead. Get down to your ten. So now let's go to the Old Testament and see if Christ was talked about in the Old Testament. Because they say color does not matter. If it didn't matter, why would they put it in there? Go ahead. The book of Daniel, chapter 10 and verse 5. Go ahead. Then I lift up mine eyes uh -huh. and look, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, uh -huh. whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphrates. So when you look at that, this, this, uh, pedophile right here. When you look at the TV shows, he don't wear none of them. He don't wear, he don't wear linen, first of all. And he don't have a big gold, real golden belt. That's how people that do that. We wear linen and we wear gold. That's our spirit. That's not, that's not his spirit. Go ahead. His body also was like the barrel. So he had a green linen outfit on with gold. Clean as I don't know what. Go ahead. And his face as the appearance of lightning. Because he had a lot of wisdom. Go ahead. And his eyes as lamps of fire. We read that. His eyes was red with wine, right? Lamps of fire. So Daniel's talking the same thing that he saw, that John the Revelator saw. Go ahead. And his arms uh -huh. and his feet uh -huh. like in color. Like in what? Like in color. So now they're not just saying this. Daniel not just talking about his feet. Now he's talking about his arms and his feet in case somebody want to get smart. Like, oh, well, my feet are light. Right. Now he's saying his arms and his feet are what? Like in what? Like in color? Because I thought color wasn't in the Bible. Go ahead. To polish brass. That's burnt brass. You look at polished brass means burnt brass. All right, now let's see what color his father is. And I beheld till the thrones were cast down. So when all these kings were cast down, that's when the Most High God is going to come back. He's not going to put his foot on this polluted place right now until we come back in rulership and all the other nations are in captivity. That's right. Go ahead. And the Ancient of Days did sit. Why do they call God the Ancient of Days? Because he has no beginning and he has no end. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. Hold on. He said they, that the Ancient of Days sit and he said he had a garment on. Because they say that uh, the so-called Christians say that God is a puff of smoke. He's a spirit. A spirit can't sit. A spirit can't put on clothes. Go ahead. And the hair of his head. How does his hair look? Like the pure wool. Hold on. Look at his head. It's like the pure wool. Who else had woolly hair? You look at the old dictionaries, wool. They say the hair like the Negroes. He look like you, man. Yeah, he look like us. Yeah, he look like you. The pure wool. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> All right, so now let's now let's see what Christ said in John 14. Let's see what Christ said God looked like. Because I thought color did not matter. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that come out of Christ's mouth if it didn't matter? Wouldn't he say that color wouldn't matter? Would you agree, brother? If, if color didn't matter, Christ would say, why does color matter? Go ahead. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 9. Go ahead. Jesus saith unto him, uh -huh. Have I been so long time with you? Uh -huh. And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? So Philip was another prophet saying, Listen, God, I mean, listen, Christ, show me the, the card. Show me how God looks. Yeah, right. He was going to Christ and asking that. He was curious because nobody had seen. Nobody has seen God except for Christ. Go ahead. He that have seen me uh -huh. have seen the Father. Hold on. He, I thought he said color didn't matter. He gave him a description then, right? I thought he, why didn't he say, oh, Philip, thou dost know color doesn't matter. Why, why dost I even show you anything? He didn't say that, right? He said, if you see me, you see what? He that have seen me uh -huh. have seen the Father. You see that? He said, I look just like my father. He black like me. That's what he was saying. Go ahead, is that it? And how sayest thou then? Uh -huh. Show us the Father. He's like, why do you even have to ask me that again now? Don't ask me that no more. You see me? I look just like my dad, so don't ask me that no more. That's right. That's right. So uh, now, I'm gonna get some laws for you, sis. Get Leviticus 13. Because guess what? We've been talking about the woolly hair, right? And I'm sure your hair is naturally what? It's woolly. 
So God's hair is woolly. Christ's hair is woolly. His favorite people's hair is what? Woolly. So wouldn't it be an honor for you to do what? Have woolly hair and sport that thing. That's great. Go ahead. And guess what? And our hair is what? When it's naturally what? What color is it? It's dark or white. It's all the, all the, well, dark or white. It's either one. Salt and pepper or dark. Go ahead. The book of Leviticus, chapter 13 and verse 30. Go ahead. Then the priest shall see the plague. Uh -huh. And behold. Let's see what this plague is. If it be in sight deeper than the skin, uh -huh. and there be in it What's the plague? a yellow thin hair. Hold on. What's the white woman's hair color? Is what? A yellow thin hair. What's the priest gonna say? Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. He says. What did what, what the most high say is gonna be? Unclean. So the most high don't he don't like that. He hates blonde hair. Because it's unclean and it's a plague. Because guess who wears that the most? Who naturally has blonde hair, straight blonde hair? Who? The Caucasian people. So wouldn't it behoove you to say, you know what? God is black. Christ is black. His people are black. And he said, don't put that hair on your head. He said, wear the hair that I gave you. So you got to, for now, yeah, put your natural hair on. And wear that. Like this brother's hair right here. Like this brother's hair right here. That's God said. That's that's what a, a holy person, a holy person's hair is. Now we understand that some of our people got straight hair, but that, if it's natural, it's natural. But let your natural hair be what the Most High gave you. Is that it? All right, give me Proverbs three and thirty-one. Because a lot of it is is wanting to be like the other nations. Because we think deep down in our minds that they are the chosen people because they're in power. And they believe that. Go ahead. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 31. Uh -huh. Envy thou not the oppressor. See that, sis? He said, envy. Don't, don't, don't follow their ways. Because when you envy something, you want something that they already have. He said, don't envy that thing. I made that a plague. But now that you know, now start the process of letting your natural hair grow. It's gonna cost a lot less, and it looks better. That's right. Yeah. Right. You're gonna save money, and you're gonna look better. Yeah. Do you know the black woman sends most Chinese people to college and Japanese people to college yeah. just by having that hair on your head? Yeah. Okay. All that money could be do used for what? Billions and five was it five billion a year, something like that? Five. What could what could we do with our community for five billion dollars? Just with that alone. We're not even talking about keeping the Sabbath days, no buying and selling, and things like that. Read it again. Envy thou not the oppressor, uh -huh. and choose none of his ways. He said don't choose, no, he said choose some of his ways. Choose none of his ways. Because the most I made him, so he knows. If, the most, if I made a car, right, if I made 10 cars, I said don't drive that one, I know that one's jacked up. Are you going to get in that car anyway and drive it, and buy that car? No. Most I was like, listen, I made y'all this way, this is the best. These are the, this is the best way you can be. Get in this car. But we're like, nah, I want to get in that car that you said that, that's messed up. That's how, that's how messed up we are on the head because what? We broke his commandments. All right, give me uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5. Because like I said, when the other nations, when they see us rising up, they're astonished at looking at us like this. They started looking at all these black men coming together and teaching our people to wake them up. To tell them that all these things that you've been following is garbage. Yep. What you got? I just want to say that if y'all have a chapter in Las Vegas, I be in Las Vegas, y'all have the same chapter. Yeah, yeah, we got one. At the park on, on Twain and Swenson. All praises. And I'm glad to see y'all. I just came home after 15 years to Baltimore last Saturday. Okay, so, so are you home? Are you back now? Yeah, I'm back. I'm back in Baltimore. I'm okay, so guess what you gotta do? You gotta fly. You gotta fly. Or what? You don't. Have, you gotta fly, right? One of those. Yeah. Yeah. Look on the back. Yeah. And start coming to the school. Edify hey, yourself. Hey, y'all. 
Y'all got a chapter in Las Vegas, the same one. Yeah, and hold we got with them. Luke 17, uh, a lot of observation. I just wanted to say that though. I, yeah. I, I fuck with y'all from out there, out here. Okay, I got a script before you before you go. I got you. Hold on, check this out right here. The book of Luke, chapter 17 and verse 20. Uh-huh. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, go ahead. when the kingdom of God should come, uh-huh. he answered them and said, What did he say? The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. See that is not we're just looking at us in Vegas and looking at us in Baltimore. Now it's time for you. You know what Uncle Sam be like this? And that, that's what we're doing to you right now. We're like, we need you. All right. Go ahead. All right. No. You, you, you. Right. It cometh not with observation. Uh-huh. Neither shall they say, uh-huh. lo here. Don't say look here. Or lo there. Don't look over there. For behold, uh-huh. the kingdom of God is within you. You see? That was, that was, that was spiritual, but he saw was doing that to his own people. But guess what? You got to start doing what? Keeping the commandments. Give coming back to the most high God's law. Give them what sounds You got the beard. Now all you need to do is what? Put your fringes on. Come on the Sabbath days and gather. All these are commandments that you got to start keeping. That's right. I'm talking about you too, sis. That's right. Hey, brother. I've seen Maybe you got Psalms 109, though. What do you, what do you got for Psalms 109? Psalms 109. Okay, we got you. You're going to thank me later. All right. No, get with Psalms 5. Because here's what we, we got to do. Because when we're rising up, the other nations are going to look at us and be like, damn. These people are supposed to be walking around with their pants hanging That's down. They, they're, they're, they're supposed to be uh, sitting on the street corner throwing up. Walking around here with no shoes on the dead of winter. Walking around here crazy. Yep, go ahead. The book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 1. Go ahead. Then shall the, excuse me, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. That's what you're seeing now. All of us keep the laws up in here in the purple and the gold with the fringes on and we always stand up and talking in great boldness saying that you're an Israelite. You're the most special person on the earth and the most high chose us over everybody That's else. That's right. Go ahead. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness Go ahead. before the face of such as have afflicted him. Now we stand right in the face of the so-called white people, the so-called Arab people that's walking by looking at us. We're like, we're the best on the earth. Right. right. Now they're like, oh no, there goes those black Hebrew Israelites. They hating on us. Because they see us coming and standing up. They don't want us to have families and raising our kids. Right. They want to see us still on the bottom doing drugs, poor mugging, being homosexuals, and not being good good parents and running our neighborhood the way they're supposed to be run. Right. Right. Go ahead. And made no account of his labors. Uh-huh. So they thinking that we are at first, they thinking that we was out here foolish, walking out here being fools for Christ's sake. Now it's not so funny anymore. That is like damn. They making an impact, a real impact in their communities. Bring it up. Yeah. Go ahead. When they see it, uh-huh. they shall tremble with their excuse me, with terrible fear. Now when they see it, they're gonna do what? They shall be troubled with terrible fear. So the so-called white man is not gonna show you their fear, because their natural thing is that they'll smile like this. But inside the most I'm saying they are scared with terrible fear. Right. Because he's like, damn, these are the last days these people are waking up. Go ahead. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Now they're going to be amazed like, damn, Christ is a black man? He's going to come back and rule over us and have these niggas over here rise up and rule and rule over us as well? That's right. That's the strangeness of our salvation. They're like, I can't believe it. Go ahead. So far beyond all that they look for. Uh-huh. And they repenting. Now they're like, I can't believe this. Now the most house telling you what they're thinking in their heart. Go ahead. Now they re- now they're thinking in their heart like damn we regret putting them in slavery. Yep. Go ahead. And groaning for anguish of spirit uh-huh. shall say within themselves. Go ahead. This was he whom we had sometimes in derision. These are the people that we had as slaves, uh-huh. even up to this very day. Uh-huh. How in the hell are these people the children of God? Yep. That's what they're saying to themselves right now. Yep. Go ahead. And a proverb of reproach, because they like these niggas right here that everybody hate, even they hate themselves. How in the heck are they rising up? We did everything to make sure they were destroyed. Right. We made sure they wouldn't reap for 400 years. Yep. And they still rose up. Yep. They showed that we're special uh, people above all nations. Yep. Nobody else could do that. Uh-huh. Go ahead. We fools accounted uh-huh. his life madness. 
because it is madness the way we live right now. They thought we was gonna live like this forever until we was wiped off the map. Yep. Go ahead. And his end to be without honor. Cause it's a dishonorable way to die like this. To die on section eight and, and nobody remembers who you are. There's no honor in that. Die for, I'd rather die fighting for my people. That's right. Then right. die, die of a heart attack because I took too much crap. Go ahead. How is he numbered among the children of God? Hey, like how in the world are these men the, the children of God? All this time our forefathers lied to us thinking that God was a white man. That's what they saying. So they, they saying he's not. Go ahead. And his lot among the saints. Uh-huh. Therefore have we heard from the way of truth. Uh-huh. So now they're like, damn, we've been lied to. We're really the devils the Bible speaks of. That's and that's what you're seeing today. That's why Trump is in office. Yep. He's showing us, he's showing you who the real white man is right now. Uh-huh. But I'd rather have a white man like that than the than, than Democrats and oh I'm your friend and then giving you uh, abortions, killing you by the millions every year. Right. Making you homosexuals. All this all this is, is anti-life. You can't make no kind of child with any of that. Gentrifying your neighborhoods. That's what the Democrats do. Yep. Go ahead. And the light of righteousness have not shined unto us. See that? Because the the Bible's never been for them. The light of righteousness are these laws. That's what it is. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.